week 14 of the NFL season. Only two teams on a bye this week, meaning there's 15 games on tap, but two games specifically will see heavy weather impacts. I'll tell you which ones and how exactly these games will pan out in some pretty interesting weather. strong cold front will be pushing through the eastern United States on Sunday. As we go throughout the day here, you can see the black lines along the east coast will be becoming more closely packed. These are isobars. The closer packed they are, the stronger the sustained winds at the surface will be. Uh, of course, associated with front, there will be plenty of precip out ahead of this. More showery in nature. Heavy downpours though, uh, along the immediate front further to the west, will be the heaviest rain as that pushes through throughout the day and into the evening on Sunday. Winds just off the surface ahead of the front on Sunday will be absolutely screaming, nearly 50 to 60 knots. That's equivalent of tropical storm force winds. Now these winds are aloft and not at the immediate surface, so that does not necessarily mean that winds will be gusting 50 to 60 knots. However, with those showers out ahead of the front, those will be able to transfer the momentum down to the surface, resulting in very strong wind gusts out ahead of the front on Sunday. So much of the East Coast on Sunday will be experiencing very strong winds. It's going to be very mild out ahead of this front, and there will also be some pretty heavy downpours associated with the front as it moves through the afternoon and into the evening. Sustained winds of 10 to 20 miles per hour are expected throughout the game in Baltimore on Sunday between the LA Rams and the Baltimore Ravens. Wind gusts will be increasing from 20 to 30 miles per hour to 30 to 40 miles per hour throughout the game. This will have a high impact on the matchup. Precipitation will also have an impact on the Rams. Ravens game in the form of heavy showers. We don't expect precipitation to be persistent throughout the game, but heavy showers can certainly cause an impact throughout this matchup. That's why we're going with a moderate impact from precip. Very mild out ahead of the front on Sunday. Temperatures during this game are going to be near 60, very mild for this time of the year, so we are not expecting any significant impacts from temperatures. So expect a high impact from wind throughout this game with those very gusty winds, especially as the game goes on. Heavy showers are expected, so be prepared for a moderate impact from showers while temperatures will play little to no impact as they sit near 60. Similar winds are expected for the Jets-Texans game with sustained winds of 10 to 20 miles per hour with gusts of 20 to 30 increasing to 30 to 40 will lead to a high impact on this matchup between the Texans and Jets. Off and on, showers will occur throughout the Jets and Texans game. However, they shouldn't be as frequent as they will be down in Baltimore. Nonetheless, they will be heavy at times and can cause moderate impacts on this matchup. Limited to no impacts from temperatures as they will also be very mild out ahead of the front. We expect temperatures in the upper 50s, which make it very mild for this time of the year. Expect a high impact from winds and moderate impact from precipitation in the form of those heavier showers, not persistent, but they can be pretty heavy at times and temperatures will be rather mild for this game. So in both cases, we're expecting winds to be the main impact precipitation will be secondary to that and then temperatures will be very mild and will play little to no impact so hope you enjoy the game and take care